Maxon will announce Cinema 4D R21 most likely next month and in this video we take a look at the top 10 most have features that Maxon should include in Cinema 4D R21 to remain competitive and attractive to both current and new Cinema 4D users. Hey folks, welcome to Mograph Plus, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos, let's get started. To keep the video short and sweet, for each future we mention, we just give you a simple explanation why it should be included and the likelihood of it being available in release 21. Number 10. A real-time renderer like Blender's EV. As real-time rendering getting more and more popular for everything, it would be actually very nice to get a high-quality real-time renderer like Blender's EV right in Cinema 4D. But this is most likely not going to happen anytime soon. Number 9 making the node editor UI available in R21 SDK. The node material editor UI and UX is implemented extremely well in Cinema 4D R20, but unfortunately third-party developers don't have access to it in the provided SDK by Maxon. As someone who works primarily with third-party renderers, it would be amazing to get that same user interface when working with Arnold or Redshift for example. That's very likely to happen in Cinema 4D R21. Number 8. Expresso Update Now that we have Node Editor implemented for materials in Cinema 4D R20 with that amazing UI and UX, I think Expresso is next in line and we might get Expresso 2.0 in Cinema 4D R21. Expresso really needs an update, it needs to be modernized and hopefully we get that in R21. The odds of that happening in Cinema 4D R21 is more than 60%. Number 7. Better Modeling and Selection Tools it would be nice to get a bit more advanced and expanded selection and modeling tools in Cinema 4D up to par with something like 3ds Max. Even though they have added a lot of nice modeling tools and workflows a few versions back, but modeling is the backbone of any good 3D application and they should never stop making it better and better. Number 6. Fluid, Fire and Smoke Simulation now we are obviously in the realm of dreams, but it's really not that far-fetched to get fluid fire and smoke simulations within Cinema 4D natively. Just acquiring X particles will make that possible to a certain extent, but especially in this area, Maxon can probably do a better job and give us a really high quality fluid sim toolset from scratch. But as we discussed later in the video, that toolset should be unified with dynamics and particles. And the easiest solution to all of that is just to acquire X particles and improve upon its weaknesses, especially for fluid simulations. And this probably won't happen in Cinema 4D R21. Before moving on, make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. Now number 5, shipping Redshift with Cinema 4D R21. After Maxon acquired Redshift at the start of 2019, a lot of us started to think about the possibility of Redshift being shipped with Cinema 4D R21. We know that Redshift is a CUDA based render engine and a lot of Cinema 4D users, especially on Mac, do use AMD GPUs. So even if they plan to do something like that, it's probably gonna take more time and maybe by R22 or R23, this can happen. And I assume if they are planning to make Redshift C4D's native render engine, they need to simplify the UI a bit more to be more compatible with the very nature of Cinema 4D, which is simply UI and UX. So I can imagine a very similar scenario to when Autodesk acquired Arnold back in 2016. At the time being, Arnold is shipped with Maya and Max and you just need to pay if you need additional seats and they sell Arnold separately to other 3D apps like Cinema 4D and Houdini. The odds of Redshift being shipped with C4D R21 is not that good and we probably need to wait a bit more for that to happen. But if they pull that off, it would be fantastic. Or maybe they don't plan on doing that at all and would keep Redshift a separate product from Cinema 4D. We have a video specifically on this topic. You can actually check it out on our YouTube channel. Number four, faster viewport and object handling. Even though it's getting better, but Cinema 4D is still terrible at handling scenes with large number of objects. For a very long time, C4D users been asking for a better viewport handling in Cinema 4D and hopefully as the new core gets fully implemented, we get a more modern viewport as well. The odds of that happening in release 21 is more than 70%. Number 3. Unified and improved particles and dynamics. The modular approach to dynamics and particles is not quite appreciated in modern VFX and motion graphic era. And the particle system in Cinema 4D is just so old 
that the last time it got any love from Maxon, the Dead Sea was just sick. In a previous video on MoGraph Plus channel, we discussed the possibility of Maxon acquiring X particles, which makes Cinema 4D really attractive again. It gives it that unified dynamics, particles, fluids, smoke, cloth, grain, and much more. That is really the best way to get Cinema 4D quickly up to par with the likes of Houdini, just a tad. On the other hand, they can try to do it from scratch and that would take a few years unless they have been working on it for a very long time as they have been implementing the new core for the past couple of years. Now if that happens, Cinema 4D becomes really attractive again for both current and new Cinema 4D users. The possibility of X particles being shipped with Cinema 4D or Maxon getting us a new unified particles and dynamic system in Cinema 4D R21 is less than 15%, so very very low. Number 2. Friendlier pricing through affordable monthly or annual subscription. At the time being Cinema 4D Perpetual License costs around $3500 and a 6 month short term license is around a grand. And there are simply better and more interesting value propositions in the market, especially Houdini Indie which is $400 for 2 years and Blender for free. I assume Maxon is working on a new pricing and marketing strategy, at least let's hope so for the sake of Cinema 4D itself. At the current pricing, Maxon finds it really hard to acquire new customers. Just change to a subscription model with affordable prices, but the odds of that happening is very very low as well. And number 1. Complete rewrite and overhaul of body paint and UV tools. Remember a decade ago when body paint was the king of 3D painting and texturing? That is long gone and Maxon failed to keep body paint and the UV toolset up to date and now getting a complete overhaul of body paint and UV toolset is the number one request from Cinema 4D users. When they implemented OpenGL in 3D painting process back in R19, a lot of us thought that the long overdue body paint overhaul will be finally delivered in R20. It didn't happen back then, but it's very possible that the headlining future of release 21 will be a complete rewrite of body paint and UV tools. The odds of that is about 80% for me. We know they have rented a place in Area 51 to specifically work on that future so secretly. So hopefully it will happen in R21 or a lot of jumping ships will happen. Now what is on your wish list for Cinema 4D R21? Let us know down below in the comment section. Also we asked the folks who follow our Facebook page about their wish list for Cinema 4D R21 and hear what they said. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to visit our website mographplus.com or our Gumroad page at gumroad.com slash mographplus and check out our premium rendering and motion graphic courses for Cinema 4D, 3ds Max, Maya, Arnold, Corona, Viri, Maxwell and so on. What should we talk about in the next video? Tell us down below in the comments as well. Please like, share and subscribe for more videos from Mograph Plus. See you next time.